So we're here at the ID Tech X, and uh, who are you? We are Fujikura Kase's Electronics Materials Division. So uh, what do you do? We are, at our core, we are a polymer resin manufacturer. Today what we're showing is uh, some of our newest conductive materials, electrically conductive materials. So this is our fine line printing ink. This is printing with gravure offset to get lines down to five microns. Here we have a 12 micron mesh. It's made to act as a replacement for transparent conductive films by making lines uh, so fine that you can't see them with the naked eye. So um, uh, are you one of the leaders in this industry? Um, that's a difficult question. I, in East Asia and Japan, definitely. Uh, we uh, have been making uh, our dotite material since the 1950s and we were the first in Japan to develop and manufacture and sell this uh, conductive uh, pastes and adhesives and inks. So In the yes, 50s, definitely. what was it used for uh, back then? Um, uh, that's uh, before it's my time. It's not printed electronics. Uh, honestly, uh, I'm not sure what we were doing in the 50s. Uh, it, 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 Dotite was developed uh, in a joint project with the uh, Nippon Telephone and Telegraph. So this was uh, done with government. Part of the telecom, maybe. Right. Industry. So, uh, I'm not 100% sure what we were doing yeah. in the beginning, but uh, it was a big project. It was publicly uh, funded, and uh, we've developed into what it is today. And so this is for the printed electronics industry? Yes. yes. Uh, so since when have you been working on that kind of stuff? Uh, for decades. For decades. For decades. Like, like I said, we were the first in Japan to make conductively, uh, electrically conductive uh, pastes, and so we've been doing this for decades. Uh, so what are we looking at, the different demos you have here? Okay, this is uh, a coating, so this is a polymer-based coating. It uses a ferrite filler, so it's not designed for electrical conductivity, it's designed as a magnetic shield. So this is low frequency, 3 megahertz and below, magnetic shield. And this is all the information right here? Uh, not all the information, this is Some our more uh, nice looking uh, yeah. presentation. And here's a nice looking presentation for right. this one. So this again is not the technical, uh, full technical information, this is just uh, for our trade show. And you can show uh, it's right. stretchable? So, so this is our stretchable material. This is a conventional one, it doesn't stretch. You can see it breaks if you stretch it. Yeah. So you can't work with that. This is our urethane based stretchable material. It stretches a little bit, about 50%. Okay. Um, but we also have silicone based stretchable material, which this will stretch up to 100%. It's a lot stretchier than the urethane. How do you make stretchable stuff? Oh, that's, <laughs> that's, uh, that's the, the secret. The secret is you put extra of it, right? So it can stretch somehow? Um, okay, that's the secret, sorry. It's, sorry, it's sorry. like, I, it's secret. It's secret. It's secret. That's cool. Uh, so um, how many people work at, at the company? Are, our uh, main company is about 400 employees. And uh, it's over there? Right, so you can see our corporate information here. Uh, we have five main divisions. We have our electronics materials division. We have our coating for plastics. We have our architectural coatings. This is paint. Uh, we have our polymer, functional polymer division, and our medical materials division. And uh, it says pioneering in the development of electrically conductive paste. That's, That's right. what you've been saying. That's right. We were the first in Japan to make it. We've been doing this for uh, uh, a little over 50 years. So what do you think about the ID Tech X show? It's pretty great. Um, we were here last year. We were here in, uh, we were at the show in Berlin uh, in uh, May. Uh, we've gotten some uh, pretty good contacts through the show. Um, we've got in touch with uh, manufacturers, developers, researchers, so we're going in a lot of different directions with those uh, companies and those groups. And bringing some awesome st uh, technologies to the market, even that's, more. That's the goal, that's the goal. Um, we've got people looking at our moldable and our stretchable, trying to make new wearable material, new moldable uh, uh, electronics and components, and so there's a lot of exciting development happening there.